All right, moving along here to the weather watch. It was a cold one today. We saw some sun, but temps dipping below freezing did not help much. No, not at all. Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank is here with another look at your forecast. It's the kind of cold that just takes your breath away when you walk outside. And I think unfortunately it'll be another morning like that tomorrow, but the trend this week will be for temperatures to slowly climb from the 20s to the 30s and eventually high temperatures in the 40s as we head towards the middle and end of this week. But we are watching Friday for the chance of something wintry, which we'll talk more about in just a moment. First, it is a very wintry vibe here, which makes sense here. It is winter in the middle of it. From Haddam Neck, overlooking the Connecticut River, you can see the snow here on the foreground and the ice floating down the river or just getting stuck on the surface. Right now, 30 degrees there. And taking a look at other temperatures across the area, upper 20s for Willimantic and Putnam, and low 30s right now for Waterbury. Nothing to show you here on the satellite or radar. We are quiet and we deserve it. At least if it's going to be cold, we deserve some quiet weather after what we just got through, right? Overnight lows, cold again, back down into the single digits. And once again, I think some towns will approach zero with some ice see patches out there. We had them out there this morning and I think we'll see them again tonight into tomorrow morning because we continue to get into this freeze thaw kind of pattern. We're also seeing some fog that's developing overnight, especially near waterways, and that can actually help to ice up the roads as well. So heads up, check in with the Fox 61 morning show crew tomorrow. Heading into tomorrow morning, I think we start the day off with some sunshine. Some river fog though again, and then the clouds will increase as the day progresses with an easterly component to the wind. And I think we keep those clouds around heading into your Wednesday as well. So high temperatures during the day tomorrow, climbing into the low to mid 30s with increasing clouds and cloudy skies for your Wednesday with highs in the lower 40s. By Thursday, we're watching some showers move in. There's this big temperature battle that's gonna be happening here across the Northeast. So I think we are warm enough to start off as rain and likely some rain to start off your Friday. But as some colder air comes in, we might be able to transition over to a period of rain to freezing rain to sleet and maybe even finish over as some snow. It's kind of a race against time. If this system and the cold air comes in a little bit slower, we might just get rain and then the system moves out and everything just kind of freezes up. So either way, I do think this could cause some road issues as we head towards or through the day on Friday and Friday night, but we're still not sure how much of each type of precipitation we can get because we can get a kitchen sink type of storm with this setup. So keep an eye on this day here. After that, this weekend, we are quiet but cold. We're talking about highs in the 20s, overnight lows once again dipping back near or even below zero for Saturday night into Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, highs around 30 degrees. Your shoreline seven day, we go from 30s to 40s the next couple of days. And we're watching Friday even at the beaches as well, guys.